Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to turn my living room into a photo studio. To start off, my living room's dimensions are 14 feet by 17 feet. My ceilings are also standard 9 feet. To save some space in my studio, instead of having my backdrop on stands, I decided to do the impact triple hook uh, that technically screws onto the wall. And once it's on the wall, it kind of stays there. And you can set up your rolls of paper up on the wall and it takes up zero real estate on the floor. The cool thing is when you're all done, you could roll it right up. And if you don't look up, it's like nothing's even there. And for paper, I use the Savage brand. I have multiple colors. In this case, I have three hanging. It is a beige color, a gray color, and a red color. Today, we're gonna to be doing some editorial style shots. So I decided to go with these colors. I do have white as well and black uh, in my closet. Instead of setting up stands and breaking them down or just setting up one roll uh, in the air, it wasn't gonna make sense if I wanted to switch uh, rolls of paper. It was gonna to be too cumbersome and the space isn't that big and swinging that roll around, I'm gonna hit something, right? So I decided to use the triple hook system because it does leave all three papers up in the air and I can switch from one to another seamlessly in less than two minutes. For light stands, I decided to use impact C stands. Now the C stands are a little bit better in this space only because I am able to move them and adjust them a little bit more freely than I would the regular upright stands. I do have some of those, especially for background lighting, but as far as using them as a key light or a fill light, I'm using C stands. The cool thing about the C stand is it comes apart and you can put it right in your closet, it takes up zero amount of space. They're a little heavy, so you do have to be a little strong to be able to set them up every single time, but once you have them set up, they're super easy to, to adjust. Always remember to use sandbags. So I do have a few sandbags laying around. That way I can make sure the lights don't tip over or if anyone uh, bumps into it, it doesn't fall down. The kind of lights we're using are Godox. And let me tell you, for the price, these guys are so worth it. I did also get the wireless trigger, so I'm able to change the power in each one of the lights without having to physically go and touch it. I'll have a link in the description below to tell you guys exactly which ones they are. And for camera, I am using a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 105, and I may be switching to a 70 to 200 along the shoot. I'll see as the shoot progresses how we're gonna do it. Now, one of my favorite things about this setup is that I have my entertainment system set up to my laptop, so I'm able to see what I'm shooting. So I'm gonna be hooked up to Lightroom, and I use the secondary screen as the TV screen, and every time I take a shot, you're gonna see that new images are gonna be popping up, so that way hair and makeup can take a look at what we're doing and see if they wanna modify something, change something, or any imperfection that has to be fixed, they can work on it right there on the spot and not have to do it in retouching. And yes, the entertainment system and the backdrop that my TV is on is custom made, one of a kind. I actually designed it myself and I will have a video uh, that will show you guys exactly how I did it if you guys wanna do something like it. Now, one more thing I'd like to mention is this laptop stand. It holds my laptop perfectly, it fits right to size, but the really cool thing is it has a small little stand on the side of it that's an extra attachment and it fits my camera perfect. It comes with this little gel sticky little tab on the top, so it's really hard for it to slip off even if I try to take it out it's like a like a it's almost like it gets stuck like a little gummy feeling you ch check this out and even if I tug on the USB cable it still won't even fall off so to finish this video here's some really cool b-roll of the final shot we got that day and some final images enjoy mm -hmm. 